Before coming to the NTSB, I flew as a professional pilot. And in the three decades that I flew for a living, I flew with some of the finest people you'd ever want to meet. And I had the pleasure of interacting with some really great air traffic controllers as well. That said, the NTSB deals with flights that end tragically. In the last few years, we've investigated several aviation accidents where the lack of professionalism with pilots and air traffic controllers has been an issue. Here are some photographs and phrases the NTSB has used to describe some of these accidents. The pilot's unprofessional behavior. Inappropriate conversation, non-standard terminology, and a lack of checklist discipline. The flight crew's failure to adhere to sterile cockpit procedures. Poor airmanship. Deviation from standard procedures. The tower controller's non-pertinent telephone conversation. The flight crew's non-compliance with standard operating procedures. Accident after accident. There's a very powerful message. When pilots and controllers drift away from their training, procedures, and best practices, safety margins erode, which can lead to tragedy. The NTSB has taken a number of steps to spotlight the issue, including holding a three-day forum on pilot and controller professionalism. We've issued numerous safety recommendations. And finally, we are placing this issue on the NTSB's most wanted list. We're doing this to highlight that each and every flight must be conducted professionally and safely. The rest is up to the aviation community. As someone once said, you never know on which flight your career will be judged.